when it comes to healthcare data, we think differently because who's going to do something with that? How will I be compromised in later life? What this insurance company is going mm -hmm. to know about me that I don't want them to know? The underlying governance of AI is kind of where AI safety was, I think, a, a few years back. It's just, it's it's so early and the level, the sophistication in this conversation is very, very low. How do we make sure that the data that we're training um, and validating these tools on has, does not contain inherent bias? When citizens kind of realise what's at stake, they will advocate for this stuff. And I think that the technology is kind of getting there for doing something a bit more ambitious and what we're sort of lacking is the 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 sort of synthesis of citizens wanting it tech being ready and the government saying okay fine we'll do it my question almost to how we handled the work around ai and data economy within the commission conversation we we didn't go to that macro question hmm. we held ourselves to down to some fairly fundamental questions about how would we even begin to go to that Mm. big question and I suppose for us collectively it's to ask ourselves do we want to take um, collective ownership of that question and to then determine what is the best possible way for that to be delivered I would like to see the NHS employing a very very large number of you know top tier computer scientists as well as you know mm. nurses and doctors and um, and chemists or at least collaborating with them